The thing about college football rivalry games and trophies is that they need to have meaning. There needs to be a purpose for these to exist. This is not the 1920s. Everyone has more interesting things happening than playing for some random object because a few people in an athletic department think it would be cool. No one in Moscow or Pocatello got the memo though. When I first heard Idaho and Idaho State were going to have a new trophy for their football games, my first thought was, this is gonna be stupid. After all, stupid is kind of what Idaho does best. Look, I love my alma mater, but gosh almighty, do those running the school do some absolutely dumb shit. In the past 12 months alone, our athletic director refused to take action on a volleyball coach abusing players, and then watched the women's basketball coach leave after a single season because she never signed a contract with the school. It turns out those in the Kibbe Dome offices were too busy trying to design a trophy for a game that nobody cares about, like, at all. I'm Shine Hollis. This is the Touchback, and today we go Idaho for a look at the most pointless rivalry game trophy in college football. We want you! Idaho Vandal football wants you. Every time I wear an Idaho shirt or hoodie at the airport, strangers are guaranteed to say one of three things to me. 5% will actually know the school and say something usually about the Kibbe Dome. Another 35% mistake it for Iowa and go on and on about the Hawkeyes. Yes, they're black and yellow and start with an I, but come on. Finally, the remaining 60% will usually say something about potatoes. Here's the deal. Potatoes grow in Idaho, but not on the Palouse. It's barley, lentils, and chickpeas. So when I first heard that Idaho and Idaho State would soon be playing for the Potato State Trophy, my initial response was, this is pretty pointless. On the surface, yes, I get it. It makes sense. Idaho is known for famous potatoes. In reality, the Tuber Trophy does not reflect the University of Idaho, nor does it represent anything having to do with the game between the Bengals and Vandals. What's worse is you're creating a rivalry game trophy for a rivalry that does not exist. Idaho and Idaho State are not rivals in any sense of the word. Yes, they play in the same state and they play in the same conferences, but at best, the Bengals and Vandals are acquaintances and that's even a bit of a generous description. Yet officials from both schools keep trying to make this into a thing despite constantly being greeted with roaring indifference, in particular from the Vandals side of the equation. First, there was the Battle of the Domes, a stupid thing most people didn't even know existed and that those who did know existed could not tell you the rules of. Basically, every time the schools play in a sporting event, there are points or something, there's a cheap trophy that one university wins, it's just been a waste of everyone's time. Perhaps the most preposterous thing of all about the entire thing surrounding the Potato State Trophy is that Idaho and Idaho State actually have already tried something similar with basketball. In 1962, the King Spud Trophy was first awarded to the winner of the team's annual basketball series. The creepy looking trophy didn't play even in that era, and in 1979, the King Spud Trophy was quietly retired. No one ever found the original in 2021. A duplicate was made for some apparent reason. That did not stop the two schools from launching another trophy for a game in which no one is passionate about and just sort of comes and goes each year with next to no fanfare. If we're being honest, there's only one matchup between Idaho and Idaho State that anyone remembers, and that was a game that was not even played in 1978. That year, Idaho State was feeling super thrifty and decided to charter some cheap planes to make the trip from Pocatello to Moscow on the same day instead of reserving hotels and paying for those. However, one of the planes malfunctioned shortly after takeoff. Half the team flew to Moscow and the other half remained in Pocatello. Those involved tried rescheduling the game to Sunday in order for the Idaho State side to find a solution, but that was impossible because there were not enough available hotel rooms in Moscow and the surrounding Palouse areas for the Idaho State players to stay at. Eventually, the game was called off with the Vandals awarded a 1-0 forfeit victory. That's it, that's your series highlight. All the introduction of the Potato State Trophy does is highlight the fact even further that this game, Idaho State versus Idaho, isn't a rivalry. Seriously, Pocatello might as well be in a different world from Moscow. For starters, it's in a different time zone. It takes basically the same amount of time to drive from Moscow to Pokey that it would take you to drive from Moscow to the California border. There is no geographical connection here, apart from the fact that the two schools just happen to be located within the same state. 
But if that's the bar for rivalries, UTEP and North Texas would be rivals. North Florida and South Florida would be rivals. It doesn't matter that you happen to be in the same state. There needs to be a reason for the rivalry. It is also worth mentioning that Pocatello is more or less Northern Utah. Seriously, they are far closer to Weber State than the U of I. Importantly, they've also played more games against Weber State than Idaho over the years. Yet the Bengals cannot get anything going with the Wildcats and continue to lust after a fake rivalry with Idaho. Speaking of us Vandals, our rivals, well, it all depends on who you ask what generation they are. For folks around my age, part of that FBS WAC era, we consider our rivals to be Boise State and uh, kind of New Mexico State. Old timers will tell you it's Montana, Washington State, and Boise State. The current generation will tell you it's Montana and Boise State. Basically though, there's some common ground here. Everyone agrees that our rival is Boise State and Idaho State is not our rival. In fact, they might as well be an afterthought. It's one of a few universal truths all vandals can agree upon apart from those in the athletic department. You can add on all the flair you want to, you can try as hard as you want to make it a thing, but forcing this Idaho-Idaho state rivalry, it's just not working, the entire thing feels fake. Can we talk about the appearance of the Potato State Trophy for a second? This thing bears a remarkable resemblance to the gobbledygooker egg from Survivor Series 1990. In fact, I'm kind of wondering if Mean Gene Oakland is going to stand by it waiting for it to hatch during the game in hopes of getting an exclusive interview. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here one second. The Survivor Series where the gobbledygooker hatched occurred on November 22nd, 1990. The first time Idaho and Idaho State will vie for the Potato State Trophy is going to be on November 23rd. This has to be a rib, right? You can't tell me this stupid gimmick is just coincidentally being rolled out on what is basically the 24th anniversary of the gobbledygooker egg. Something here is a miss. I'm starting to think a little Joe Vandal Jr. will pop out of that spot during the game and it will all be just one big joke. Honestly, if it was a joke, it would be better than the reality of two teams that aren't rivals playing for this petrified wooden potato egg, whatever you want to call it. Of course, if the Vandals and Bengals were an actual rivalry, the teams would have a real trophy to play for, not some contrived bullshit. Say what you will about that Idaho, New Mexico State series, but the Aggies at least felt like our rivals. We didn't need to put no stinking hunk of wood on the line for that game. No playing for what was likely going to be each school's lone FBS victory in a season. It was stakes enough. It must be said, this mistake has a very familiar feeling to it. I, for one, still vividly remember the Idaho Vandal butt logo fiasco of 2008. Not only did Arizona hand us our asses 70-0 to zero on that day, but someone managed to approve pants that had an Idaho logo essentially right over the butthole. Here's what happened. The team was getting new uniforms for the 2008 season, and then somehow through the entire design process in the athletic department and the designers and everyone involved, they all felt this logo on the rear end of the pants made sense. Everyone in the athletic department saw it and everyone said, you know what, this is a thing that might be pretty cool. It was entirely a school error and made us the butt of a lot of jokes. That, however, is just one embarrassing unforced error in a long line of unforced errors we have endured in Vandalville over the years. From Paul Petrino burning timeouts on the second play of the game to hiring woefully unqualified intern coaches who lost 20 plus games full time to the saddest PowerPoint presentation you'll ever see to the Sunbelt Conference, Idaho keeps finding new and exciting ways to shoot itself in the foot. Yet we Vandals cannot get off the ride. It's not even for hopes of achieving glory, success, or anything. It's like we just want a little sliver of glory, a little taste of success, just the smallest spoonful. A bowl win here, a CBI appearance there, a tournament appearance from the women's basketball team every once in a while, even though they constantly got screwed by NCAA seeding. Our expectations are exceptionally low. We do not ask for much, but we also didn't ask for anything like the Potato State Trophy. We did not ask for the school to anoint Idaho State as our rival when everyone knows they're not an Idaho rival. It's a game that doesn't need a trophy to play for. And if you insist on having a trophy, well then I guess it should be of a broken down model plane. Or maybe the university in, in Moscow and then if Idaho wins, they can turn on a no vacancy sign. And if Idaho State wins, I guess they turn it off. I don't know. That would be more apt than a giant potato. 
ultimately Idaho fans will begrudgingly deal with this like we begrudgingly deal with all the other nonsense dealt our way over the years. It'll be around, no one will care, and it's just going to be rammed down our throats time and time again, much like Mason Petrino at quarterback. But hey, if we're lucky, the athletic department will at least keep handing out free pizza perfection pizzas at home games. Make no mistake though, the Potato State Trophy is just pointless. It doesn't need to exist. No one asked for it. It's a stupid idea. I suppose though, some things at Idaho just never change and this is one of them. Moscow Bagel and Mikey's are still on Main Street. Every now and then, the smell of cow manure wafts over the campus from the farm area. The Student Rec Center will never ever have parking when you truly need it, and Idaho Athletics only exists to disappoint its fans. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about the college football team, that nerfed scheduling video upper right hand corner of your screen, and to understand why promotion and relegation just doesn't work in college football, lower right hand corner of your screen. I guess. All that's left to say now is, so all bear down for Idaho. Come on, old vandals, go! Idaho.